Good afternoon guys and happy uh, Thursday to all of your sunshiny faces. So like I told you guys yesterday, um, I was hoping to do Meyer yesterday but we didn't. We ended up going to Meyer today but we also did Jewel today because originally my dad said that he was possibly going to work on Saturday. Now he might not actually be working on Saturday so we just might go to Aldi on Saturday instead of like I should have Tony's and Caputo's haul for you guys then but that way we don't really have anything that we have to do over the weekend depending on if my dad is or isn't working on Saturday um like I said that way we just that's all we still have to do so anyways um let me share with you guys though what we got at Meyer and Jewel so I looked over the Meyer receipt it looks like all my coupons came up and everything rang up at the right price except um it looks like um I got these tostadas and it looks like they were rang up three times I only got two of them um so I think I paid like an extra $1.99 so I think it was an extra like two dollars at um uh, Meyer and then at Jewel from what I can tell it looks like which I could have should have probably double checked this um I thought that they were these the Colgate's like the 360 toothbrushes were on sale for $4.99 along with like the total toothpaste and also the Colgate total mouthwash they were $4.99 there were $4 off coupons on each different one so like toothbrush toothpaste mouthwash the other two came up but the toothbrush didn't I don't know if I got the right one or not it was not it was tagged at $4.99 and all of them were but they didn't show that there was like a coupon um so like I said I kind of like you know I assumed oh that's probably going to be the right one that's probably going to be the right you know mouthwash and I double checked the ounce sizes to make sure as well but with the toothbrush it's just a one count so you can't really like double check the size of it exactly and they have so many different varieties of toothbrushes like I didn't know if this one was for sure the right one or not so anyways the four dollar coupon didn't come off on that and it looks like for some reason one of the coupons on I don't know which one it is I have to go back and double check but I did get some of these like like um like different like ramens and chow mein and stir fry little like bowls and stuff like that at jewel and they there was actually four different ones and they had 25 cent off coupons on each different one i only got three of them because i could only find three but one of the ones also the 25 cent coupon didn't come off so that was an extra like 425 i think in total that didn't end up coming off i'm not entirely sure i can always double check what coupons were still left in my account as far as what i didn't get and also what um coupons didn't come off too because i didn't double check this yo play coupon um i know that the like sale coupon came off but i don't know if the dollars off coupon came off or not so i'm going to double check that as well but anyways let me share with you guys both of these um hauls they're like i said both kind of bigger hauls so um well not big hauls but just combined between both stores they were and we were under i think or just right at maybe a hundred dollars had all of those coupons come up and everything rang up at the right price again it was a difference of about six bucks i think we would have probably been under a hundred dollars for sure but with it not i think we might have been right at a hundred dollars which i don't think is too bad for what we got we got lots of produce stuff lots of other like grocery things and stuff like that so i'll share that with you guys right now so this side of the table over here is everything we picked up from Meyer. we ended up paying 29 dollars and 12 cents and saved 38 dollars and 22 cents so almost a 50% savings, which I don't think is too bad, um, considering what we ended up picking up. And as I've told you guys too, they had this, um, the seven for seven sale that was running again this week. Some of these items, like I think these might be like a dollar and 24 cents or 29 cents or something like that. So when they're on sale for only a dollar with that seven for seven sale, you only get like 29 cents savings, which isn't even 50%, but they do have these like at the dollar tree. And these are kind of like my mom likes making, she actually just used one of these, um, today to make make a some type of bread but um like just for fast breads like if we have extra bananas left over we'll make the banana nut kind or blueberries we'll add you know make the blueberry kind they're just kind of convenient if we have extra produce that we don't want to go bad um you can always add that extra stuff in there as well um so again too but like the retail cost of those are not that high so that's why you don't even get much of like a sale like savings on those um so again they had that seven for seven sale running again this week so i'll go over those items but basically when you buy seven or more of the participating items you get them at a dollar each so um you know like i said they're seven for seven but you don't have to buy in multiples of seven so what they had was they had baby carrots on sale for um again a dollar which is a pretty good price for baby carrots we also 
did pick up a couple more of these round uh, cotton rounds from Meyer because this is a really good price for 100 counts. Um, Walmart has theirs for I think like 2.29. I was also telling you guys last week too, or you know Saturday when we went to Meyer that they were running this sale last week was that they had them the same thing, you know, seven for seven. But I'm wondering they had a ton of their like personal care like cotton like rounds, cotton balls cotton swabs all that kind of stuff um on sale as part of this so i don't know if it's because they might be changing like packaging and they're just kind of like almost clearancing them out without really clearancing them out because they sold a ton of those things there's a lot um that they had and a lot that seems like they like i said sold between last week and this week as well um so i picked up just two more of those because i got four i think last week but again too i would rather buy them while they're that cheap and stock up and have them for quite some time before we have to pay possible retail price for them again and we'll see if they include these in the sales like going forward then we might not have to we might just get them whenever they have a sale pick up another one or something like that um so again that was a pretty good deal but they also had the lance crackers on sale as well these are normally included in the seven for seven sale along with these lunch makers as well we picked up four of those um they also like i said too they had these as part of that we picked up four of those um they were a dollar each and then also to these little mini just because i thought it would be a nice treat like for after dinner tonight these little Ben and Jerry's like ice creams they're the real 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 tiny kind the four ounces um so we picked up four of those and then we also ended up getting which they didn't have last week that I wanted to get but they did this week was the yellow onions also a dollar and then these paste um the nacho um like cheese sauce and also the enchilada sauce which again was a dollar as well then that was the seven for seven sale products the other items were just like with coupons and again too I didn't have as many to do this week like most of this was running from last week but I think I picked up these were the same as last week that I picked up and again to these but some of them were either things I didn't pick up um or again too because like I could pick and choose kind of what I wanted to do because I knew the sale was most likely running for both weeks so I picked those up a couple of those from last week I picked up more this week as well and then a couple of things like I said were things I didn't pick up last week but I did this week and most of them were running for both weeks as well like the, the products that they had but also like last week they had the Starbucks coffee Coffee was $7.99. There was a dollar off coupon making it $6.99. The silk almond milk was $2.49. They had a dollar off coupon making it $1.49. I told you guys how last week I accidentally picked up the plus protein kind, which was right, more money, like $3.99 or something like that. And the coupon didn't come off, so that was <laughs> kind of unfortunate. But the coupon was still available, so I bought that, the regular kind this time. They also had the uh, chow mein, um, you know like those uh like bowls kind of thing um those were a dollar and 29 cents and there was a 30 cent off coupon making it a dollar or making it 99 cents so i went ahead and picked up one of those they also had like i was saying with these tostadas um were on sale 199 and they were buy one get one free coupon so those were only a dollar each um and that's like i said i don't know why it rang up three times instead of twice so that was i ended up paying an extra dollar 99 which was unfortunate um um, so like I said, that was kind of the difference in that. They also had to, just like last week, this coupon reset as well. So it was available again this week was this Mr. Clean, um, like multi-surface cleaner stuff. Um, it was on sale for $3.99 and there was a $2 off coupon making it $1.99, which is a good price for like cleaning products. Normally I like to stick around $2 for those kind of things, which was pretty good. They also had the nail polish, which was on sale for $2.49 or I think that's normal price. And there was a dollar off coupon making it a dollar dollar and 49 cents which is a pretty good price they also had the clean and clear that was on sale for um our normal price 5.99 and there's a two dollar and 50 cent off coupon making it just two or three dollars and 49 cents which is not too bad of a price they also had the women's razors the venus ones which are we don't get deals on very often so i was pretty surprised about this but they were on sale for eight dollars and 49 cents normally 10.49 and then there was a five dollar off coupon making them just three four so that's a huge savings compared to at you know Meyer they retail at 1049 that's a really good deal so and it's like the reusable kind that comes with two additional I thought that was really good so that was everything we ended up picking up from Meyer I'll share with you guys jewel now over here this was jewel all of these items cost $52.33 and we saved $72.17 for 59% savings like I said probably would have been over 60% savings had those two coupons come off and that was all that I noticed um I'm not entirely sure like I said I'd have to go 
go through and exactly figure out too like this yo play um yogurt coupon as well um because like i said i'm not totally sure if they came off or not so i do think these additional coupons came off so let me start with that first <laughs> the yo plays these were on sale 59 cents limit 10 with the just for you coupon so i bought 10 in total they also had two additional dollars off coupons um which is like you know these are like the adjustment coupons they're store coupons so if you see like coupons from tool that say like oh this will be you know like uh again 59 cents or 199 or whatever with the digital just for you coupon um that's normally a store coupon typically but then sometimes they will also have manufacturer coupons that will stack with that so like in this case they had a 50 cent off coupon 50 cent off five of the like regular yo plate yogurts they also had a dollar off of two on these special protein yogurt kinds and both of these kinds were included in that 59 cent sales so they were 10 in total that we ended up picking up for 59 cents but we ended up getting a dollar and 50 cents off so we only ended up paying paying $4.40 for 10 of them or about 44 cents each which ends up working out to be a really good deal and these are a new kind these yogurt plate protein kind which is like almost it seems like as much protein as like in Greek yogurt but they're not Greek yogurt so um that's kind of cool um, but like I said, that was one of those items and examples and that coupon did come off. I also did a similar deal with the Progresso and I'll share with you guys that in a second. But these um, lunch makers also, I didn't realize originally that I was getting these at Jewel and then those at Meyer, and yeah. And also too, because of the, um, when I thought we were going, like I was thinking like, oh, Jewel on like, you know, Saturday or Sunday and Meyer on Wednesday, we probably would have eaten through maybe a few of those by then and we'd have more at Jewel. So I didn't realize I was getting eight of them in total in one day. So um, anyways, though, these were four for four when you bought four with the Just For You coupon. So it was the exact same sale as at Meijer anyway as well. They ended up being a dollar each. Um, but they were a limit of four here at Jewel. Meijer, you could have bought as many as you wanted. And then I was explaining to you guys the deals with the um, the Colgate. So this is a nice big size. These are like the um, one liter size of the Colgate mouthwash, which was $4.99. Again, $4 coupon to came off so, so that ends up being only 99 cents after the coupon and then again too like i was telling you guys with the colgate total the 5.1 ounces this also the coupon came off on this which ended up being only 99 cents and then again for whatever reason i don't know if it was the wrong one or what it was but the colgate i know it was a 360 toothbrush and it was 4.99 but the coupon didn't come off so i don't know if i got the wrong kind it seems like for some reason whenever i do these colgate deals there's always like one coupon that tends to not come off I just kind of expected at this point um either because I bought the wrong size of something or it was like the wrong one or like I don't know it just randomly doesn't come off or whatever um so I don't know but it was supposed to also be 99 cents then also too, like I was saying, I'm not sure exactly which one it was on these, but these kind of were the same deal also at Meyer, except they were $1.25 on sale and there was a 25 cent off coupon. And like I was saying, there was three or four different coupons. One of them, again, I don't know, like they didn't end up having, one of them didn't come off and I'm not sure if it was because possibly like we bought a flavor that wasn't included or something like that, but they each should have and would have worked out to be a dollar each after the 25 cent coupon on like i said it was like this like hot and spicy kind i know was one of them and then also stir fry and then also the chow mein as well um and there was a, a fourth one as well but like i said i can't remember off the top of my head which one that was it was like i think cup of noodles but it wasn't like the regular cup of noodles or something like that um then also too they had the progresso protein soups um these are all I think all of these kind in this like line are all vegetarian and they're all really high in protein. I actually had this one the other night, this chickpea noodle kind's really good. Um, but these are $1.99 with a digital just for you coupon and they're a limit of 10. Now I wasn't gonna pick up 10, especially for that price, but they also had a specific dollar off two coupon on the protein kind. So I got two of those and used that coupon and only paid $1.49 each for buying two of them. They also had the cheese it crackers, which were on sale $5 for three or like 166 each. And that was when you bought three with the digital just for you coupon, it was a limit of three. 
Then the produce deals that they had going on, they had these sugar bees, organic, um, like honey, kind of like honey crisp apples, I think, um, were two pound bag was $1.99 with the digital just for you coupon. These all varied in the limit. I think those were a limit of two. The oranges, which were $1.99, they were a limit of two for a four pound bag. The potatoes, I want to say those were a limit of one or two, five pound bag of both separately. The gold and red potatoes were a limit of two, I think, each. Um, then and also too the blueberries were $1.99 for a pint they were a limit of three but I only picked up one the blackberries were a limit of three as well at $1.99 each with a digital just for you coupon and the strawberries the same thing limit three at $1.99 with a digital just for you coupon and they also had these like Quaker rice cakes which were $1.79 with the digital just for you coupon and I believe that might have been a personalized one because um, I didn't see it in my account prior um, and it was similar to the deal that they had last week, but I didn't end up doing it because I had so much stuff going on last week. They also had a lot of other produce deals going on at Jewel. However, some of them were worse deals than they had running the last two weeks um, or the last last week, I think it was. So I didn't end up doing the, a lot of them, but a handful of them, like with the strawberries and blackberries and stuff like that, they didn't have that sale. So I did pick those up, um, but a lot of them seemed like they were worse like sales. Like they had like the same salads they had last week for 99 cents for $1.99 this week so like I said they I didn't end up doing a lot of the produce deals but like I said for about a hundred dollars for all the stuff on the table I think it's pretty good again we didn't get any meat or anything like that this week at either Meyer or Jewel but we did stock up a ton at Tony's and Caputo's last week where we got all of that um well at Jewel too we got some of those hamburgers we also got tons of chicken um like a bunch of stuff so like our freezer stocked right now for meat so we didn't really need that this is just kind of produce and whatever other sales they kind of had going on at these two stores this week so I'm gonna go and try and finish up um, dinner and then also to get this stuff put away but I thought I'd share with you guys what was going on at those two stores for today well guys I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed um, like I was telling you guys I should have Tony's and Caputo's haul for you guys tomorrow um, and then we'll be done with pretty much all the shopping other than Aldi which is just you know like whatever stuff we need like I think we're possibly out of milk <laughs> um, you know just that kind of stuff some other little fill-in things but that might be either on Saturday or possibly on Sunday maybe um but either way um you know we're like I'm I'm happy to be done with the grocery shopping like I finished all of my lists yesterday and then to have two of the bigger stores done today and then again Tony's and Caputo's will be done all before the weekend um you know and then we just have the weekend to kind of relax because again too it's like my dad originally I think whatever he was they were supposed to be working on I don't know if it's like they don't have it lined up in order or whatever you know like they have to wait for something else to get done before they can do what they're supposed to be doing or what it is but he came home and he was like yeah I think we're pretty much finished with what we're actually supposed to be coming in on Saturday to do um or that they should probably finish it tomorrow um like it's not quite as much work as what they were thinking or I don't know what it was um but either way he's like I might not have to work now on Saturday but even if he doesn't have work again that's a nice thing to just get those done with and then hopefully if we doesn't have to work on Saturday we can focus on getting other things done like getting the bedroom situations all taken care of too because we haven't done a much work on that really lately but also too I will say because it has been so cold which it's currently snowing outside right now guys but um on top of that too just because of the situation you know with it being so cold the last handful of days you know in the negative 17 negative 20 <laughs> whatever it's been um you know it's been ridiculously cold um you know most days this last week um and while like by next week though and like I think Tuesday it's supposed to rain Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday possibly or something like that so it's supposed to be warm enough where it's gonna rain um which means that maybe the snow will go away which I don't know I'm not opposed to the snow like just because we haven't had snow really like this is the only snow kind of that we've had that's like lasted for this long so far this year um and you know like that's why I'm not entirely opposed to it but I, I wouldn't mind if it went away either but because it's been so cold the back room um that has a sliding glass door it's actually guys since we got that replaced though that window the back 
bedroom window and the back door it's actually been way warmer in there but it's still like a little bit colder than average just because of that um and so like where is again to my room's probably the warmest room out of the three bedrooms back here my room's probably the warmest then next is probably like the primary bedroom then it's that other back bedroom with the back door is probably the coldest room um and again too those are both exterior like mainly exterior rooms whereas mine three of the room the walls are our interior walls so it keeps the heat in it feels like a lot better whereas the other two bedrooms only two of them are interior walls and the other two are exterior walls so obviously it makes it a little bit colder in that sense as well so um you know like we haven't nobody's really done a whole lot um you know just it's the house has been a little bit colder um and we've kind of not like been in that room really or anything like that um to try and like you know open up the door maybe help keep it warmer and stuff like that and again too it's not like it's freezing cold or anything it's just into it's just one of those rooms where like you know it's it's cooler um a little bit but again too not even like compared to how it used to be with the old back door it's nothing like that at all anymore and also too just because it's been so cold like my dad's had to work outside a handful of the days too um this last week i know i think the day it's was supposed to be getting that cold um or that snowstorm or something like that he was like working outside um and like one of the days i think it was snowing and it was i think one of the warmer days but the snowing day and he was like it was just miserable to be outside they had to go work on something and yeah he was outside working and i was like yeah that's you know nobody wants to have to be outside during that but then again too then my dad comes back home and he's not really wanting to, to go work and do other things and stuff like that but i think really what we're waiting on is Jack needs to finish tearing the carpet out of that back room. We just start getting the like stain, uh, like the the floor stain and like the paint up that's on there we have like that paint remover stuff that we used on the stairs um we still have some of that left that we're going to use on the the floor in there um but that's a whole process and getting it put down and all that kind of stuff too but um i don't know if we really want to do that until all of the carpets out of there first and like there's stuff that's in there too so we also have to get some of that stuff moved out of there as well like there's not like it's not like furniture is in there still just like some clutter stuff that just needs to be picked up and taken care of and moved out of there too so anyways hopefully that can get done at some point if not like this weekend at least very soon because like that's what we're waiting on is like the bedrooms and all that kind of stuff down here is what needs to be moved on with and like we could very quickly get it done and be all taken care of it's just we're not getting it done I feel like fast enough right now but again too now that I feel like the holidays are over we just I feel like nobody's really had the desire to get a lot of this stuff done whereas we should now because the holidays are over and we have nothing else that we have to do really other than finish this stuff up so anyways I will see you guys though in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see you all very soon shiny faces tomorrow so bye guys